if I could go back and just talk to myself and say, just never quit being a kid. As much as people may pick on you or, or say, you're just a grown man playing with toys. <laughs> keep it childlike, keep it experimental, keep it fun. I am a creative. I am a creative being. Hi, I'm Kelvin Wood, I'm a creative being. That's how I would introduce myself. Yeah, I, I express myself best musically. The less talking I can do, the better. <laughs> Growing up in Alabama, in, in, in Huntsville, all of my friends and neighborhood, they all were athletic, they played sports. And just me, I just knew I wasn't athletic enough to be on any team. In sixth grade, we had to do something extracurricular, had to do something, so they just mentioned the band. So the, that night, my parents took me to the band meeting and and I got stuck on the tuba for some reason. I'm kind of glad it happened that way because I, I kind of, you know, I found my love for music in that space. Raphael Sadiq, or Raphael Wiggins at the time, had called, found Spanky's number and called him. And the day that I was skipping school to go over and shed, you know, it's just something that musicians do. We practice, we trade licks, we trade musical ideas or whatever. And he, Raphael Sadiq called him for, to, to work on a song for a movie, Higher Learning. So Raphael Sadiq was looking for a keyboard player to play on some stuff. Everyone else around me knew from Huntsville, they knew that I was the fourth member of Tony Tony Tony, unofficial member of Tony Tony Tony. I had the gear, I dressed like him, I did everything. So I'm, now I'm talking to the lead singer of this group. So he's asking, you know, you wanna come out to Sacramento and work? I'm like, yeah, sure, sure. And I just happened to be there. 18 year old kid skipping class and man, I think, God, I was skipping class today. It just took off. We started, I started playing on a lot of stuff. Uh, first record I played on was a Bee Gees record. Um, the, it's a, <laughs> like out of the gate, I'm playing on a Bee Gees record. Huntsville has always been home. It's always been like a home base for me. So I guess in a sense of just, like I know when I come to Huntsville and I'm back home, and then there's a sense of, you know, of not having to do all things for everyone. And, you know, a sense of peace, I guess, you know, just a lack of a better term. And that piece definitely influences how I create. And it was, and I think about, when I think about most of the artists that do come here to work in the studio, they all, they all have Southern roots, you know. They all are either have family from the South or currently living somewhere in the regional Southeastern area. It's not like New York or LA or anything like that. So it's not a lot of those things to do. There's not a lot of meetings you can take, you know, with labels and things of that nature here. You really come to Huntsville, or if they're coming to work with me, they're coming to do music. And, and that's the focus, and that's the focal point. And everything else around that tends to influence the music because, you know, it's, you know, you're really locked in on the project. It's a little less angst. You know, I've been to LA a lot, and LA isn't like New York, which is a lot of, you know, you could have a lot of angst. I feel like there's a lot of hurry, hurry, rush, rush. LA is more laid back, but then there's a lot of Hollywood about that too. And, you know, the South just doesn't lend itself to a lot of that stuff. It's a lot of, hospitality. There's a lot of good things about Huntsville in the South and um, after being everywhere in domestically, just, it, that just feels, feels more natural.